closing in on Thanksgiving, so Steve Spangler has some fun for us for the big feast. Ooh. Everybody always says, so Food. why do you have to ruin every holiday? I mean, you see, like, it could be just... A, but you know what? Over the years, we've learned how to whip off the tablecloth. We learned how to yes. use... Uh, cornstarch to make concrete. Where and, the fire and, extinguisher and, and, and is. Quick, yes, exactly. Quick set. The whole thing. Hey, I've put a couple of things together because if you see this stuff, there's an old teaching technique that is like you see stuff and you uh, you identify with it. You go, oh, I remember that little thing that Steve did with this okay. or a teacher did. Right. All right. So uh, if you take that orange, here are the oranges. Yes. Float or sink, Kim? What do you think? Float uh, or sink? I think sink. Okay, go ahead, drop them in. Good job. They will sink, as Jack Spangler would say. Oh. No, Miss Kisters. Oh my gosh, but here, I peeled them. If you peel it, it means that it weighs even less, so for sure it should float. And of course, the peeled ones sink, you stupid thing. All right. <laughs> Do and it, it sinks. It, look at that. It, it is, sinks. It, it goes, sinks. Look at this one. This guy sinks, and this guy, see if he floats. So it's counterintuitive, right? You've taken weight off of it, but right. what is it about that, that little that skin that's there that causes it to that float? Skin. <gasps> What's in it, Mr. Green, what is it, Miss Christensen? It's well, of course, that's going to float too. Uh, well, they're, they're little tiny pockets of air, right? Oh, okay. Think of it like cork or something. So oh, little okay. tiny pockets of air. So that's what causes them to float. And of course, when you peel it, it sinks. It's a little counterintuitive. No you know this from decorating. Do these float or sink? They sink. These float. Uh, that's a good job. <laughs> Science is alive and well, people. It's just I'm kidding. Just She's kidding. just kidding. No, Look at this. That's why you of put them and then you put your it's flowers. It's exactly right. Yes, it's all but pretty. I gave you here some for oh, you and here's okay. some for you. Look what's on the inside. We're going to show okay, the viewers. Wait, don't tell me if you cut them in half. Look at that. Are you serious? <sighs> no, no, no. They, they oh, still no. float. Yeah, I'm just showing you there's little like tiny pockets second. of air inside. Right. So if you see those little pockets there, pockets of air, and they will, uh, they will of course. They look really pretty. Oh, there they are. Very, very pretty. And so they will float. So now I know you're having so much fun with the float and sink. Thing. So look at what I did over here is that you take um, these little glasses and I've taken cranberries now and you dry them out. So <laughs> I just bought them at the store this way. Uh, and so you dry them out and look at what happens here. We now just fill it with a little bit of 7-Up here, Tom. And so if you do this, now you get this wonderful thing where they will float and they will sink. Fake. So you notice how they float, but the carbon dioxide will pop. The little bubbles that so surround them will sink. So they're in motion. Because so look at this. Out. And these are dry. You got it. Those, yeah, absolutely. So look at this. They're going to float and they're going to sink and they're just going to go up and down and to up show. and down. Isn't that great? And so kids seem to like that. But Uncle Bob really loves it if you add some bourbon to it. So that's, it, it makes for champagne. Yeah, so it it's that. look at that. It's okay. floating and it's sinking. So I know you're excited. Yes. And finally, cranberry juice. Who would have thought that you could have this much fun with cranberry juice? Right. Uh, a little bit of baking soda in cranberry oh, juice. I didn't say it. that you're okay. eating it. And look what it does. It changes <gasps> color. So not only does it fizz up and ruin everything on the table, but it turns purple. So you see how it changes color? there so it's yes. a uh, it's an indicator to tell if you've got an acid or if you've got a base the silly thing will change back if you put some vinegar or some lemon juice inside so take a look at the difference here see how we have red, red. here and it's purple. purple so you see how it turned purple, purple here and we can actually change it back and change it back to that pretty red color that's over here so why wouldn't you let the kids play a little bit and uh, <laughs> no drinking gosh, yeah yeah and the kids are going to sure love that don't worry about it anything. it's fine no, it's this is good. the uh, the fancy set here at nine news and uh, I'll this be, is what we call the I'll Monday be watching mess. this yeah I'll be Washing this a little bit later on tonight. So at least you have a cranberry colored it is. tablecloth Float to work and with. sink. And look at that. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to you. Cheers. Thank don't, you. Don't Happy drink it. It's been in the lab for years. Don't drink it. All right. It's good Cheers. to see you. Right, okay. We'll be right Bye. back. Bye. Many of us. <laughs>